topic, solving quadratic equations by completing the square. Objective, solve quadratic equations by completing the square. <clears throat> Good day everyone. Our topic, solving quadratic equations by completing the square. Ito yung directions natin. Solve the following equations by completing the square. Ito yung mga given. For number 1, we have 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals 0. Step 1, we need to make sure that the value of a is equal to 1. So, kailangan hindi siya greater than 1. Kapag greater than 1 na siya, i-divide mo siya both sides by kung ano man yung value ni a dun sa unahan kapag greater than 1 siya. So, dito sa example natin, ang value ni a is 2. So, we need to divide both sides of the equation by 2. Divide both sides by 2. Para si A is maging 1. So, divide both sides by 2. We have 2x squared divide by 2 plus 8x divide by 2 minus 10 divide by 2 equals 0 divide by 2. Then, we have now x squared plus 4x minus 5 equals 0. We have now x squared plus 4x minus 5 equals 0. Step 2, we need to group the variables on the left side of the equation. And then, uh, constant dun sa right side of the equation. Igugroup lang natin siya. So, para sine, uh, yung negative 5, para mailipat natin siya sa right side of the equation, we need to use the uh, addition property of equality. We need to add both sides of the equation by 5. Add both sides by 5. Or, kailangan uh, yung equation natin maging uh, x squared maging x squared plus bx equal c. So, kailangan ganito yung magiging form niya. We have now x squared plus 4x minus 5 plus 5 equals 0 plus 5. Then, let us simplify. We have now x squared plus 4x kasi makakancel na to. Cancel na yan. Then, we have now 5. So, yung equation natin or yung resulting equation natin is x squared plus 4x equals 5. Nandito na siya sa form na to. x squared plus bx equals c. Step 3, use the formula the quantity of b over 2 squared. So, gamitin natin itong formula na to. So, para uh, makuha natin yung sagot dito, let us identify the value of b from this uh, resulting equation. Saan nga ba dito yung b? Ito yung b, which is 4. Okay, let us substitute. We have now the quantity of 4 over 2 squared. Then, 4 divided by 2, we have 2. Then, 2 squared, we have 4. Ito yung step number 3. Then, after that, etong form na to, i-add natin both sides of the equation sa left and right. Bakit? Okay, etong form na to, pag in natin sa left side, etong uh, expression na to, which is x squared plus 4x, kapag in mo yung 4, magiging perfect square trinomial na siya. Let us see. We have x squared plus 4x and then, ito, plus 4 equals 5 plus 4. Then, we have now x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 9. Step 4, express, 
express x squared plus 4x plus 4 into the square of binomial. Square of binomial. Since this is a perfect square trinomial, kapag na-express mo siya into square of uh, into square of binomial, ganito yung kalalabasan niya. We have x plus 2 squared or the quantity of x plus 2 squared equals 9. Sir, paano nakuha tong x plus 2 quantity squared? Okay, you need to uh, square uh, you need to get the square root of x squared Which is x Then, yung first term, i square root mo siya Then, yung last term, i square root mo rin siya Ganito yung magiging itsura niya Square root of x squared Ito yun Then, square root of 4 So, square root of x squared, we have x Cancel, cancel to Then, square root of 4 is 2 That's why we have the quantity of x plus 2 squared Equals 9 Step 5 We need to eliminate the exponent which is 2 So makalang mawala tong exponent na to Itong 2 na to Paano? By extracting square root So by extracting By extracting Square root So we have now the square root of the quantity of x plus 2 squared equals plus minus square root of 9. So, nag, sa left side, nag-add tayo ng square root symbol and then sa right side, nag-add tayo ng plus minus or positive negative square root. Then, after that, makakansel na itong square root na to and then 2, ang matitira sa left side, we have x plus 2 equals positive negative square root of or square root of 9 we have square root of 9 we have 3 so magiging 3 na to we have 3 then step 6 solve the uh, resulting linear equation so we have x plus 2 equals 3. Okay, pag natin si positive and negative 3. Then, the next one is x plus 2 equals negative 3. pinag lang natin si plus minus 3. Then, after that, solve for the value of x. So, in order to solve for the value of x, we need to eliminate positive 2 to the left side of the equation by using subtraction property of equality. We have x plus 2 minus 2 equals 3 minus 2. Then, cancel na ito. Matitira sa left side is x equals 3 minus 2. We have 1. Then, sa kabila naman, x plus 2 minus 2 equals negative 3 minus 2. Bakit minus 2? Para makancel itong positive 2. Then, we have now x. Cancel na ito. Matitira is x equals negative 3 minus 2. We have negative 5 Let us substitute the values of x Which are 1 and negative 5 Tingnan natin kung satisfied talaga siya Dito sa given uh, equation 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals 0 So for x For x equals 1 Then for x equals negative 5 We have now 2 times 1 squared plus 8 times 1 minus 10 equals 0 then 2 1 squared we have 1 then 2 times 2 then times 2 we have 2 plus 8 times 1 we have 8 minus 10 equals 0 then 2 plus 8 10 minus 10 equals 0 then 10 minus 10 0 equals 0 therefore the value of x which is 1 satisfy to the given quadratic equation next for x equals negative 5, we have 2 times the quantity of uh, 2 times the quantity of negative 5 squared 
plus 8 times negative 5 minus 10 equals 0. Then after that, simplify negative 5 squared. We have 25 times 2. We have 50 minus 40 minus 10 equals 0. 50 minus 40, 10. 10 minus 10 equals 0 equals 0. Therefore, the value of x, which is negative 5, satisfy to the given quadratic equation 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 equals 0. Okay, bago ko makalimutan yung, uh, yung values ng x or this, this is what you call the roots or the solutions. Iisa lang yun ha. Baka malito kayo. Next example, x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 0. Since dito sa example natin, a is equal to 1, diretso na tayo sa step number 2. So we need to write this into the form x squared plus bx equals c. So para uh, yung constant natin mapunta sa right side of the equation, then matira yung mga variables which is which are x squared x squared plus 2x. O ang gagawin natin, we need to add both sides by 3 para yung 3 yung constant nasa right side. We have x squared plus 2x minus 3 plus 3 equals 0 plus 3. Nag-add tayo both sides by 3. Then the resulting equation is x squared plus 2x equals 3. Step 2, by using the, uh, the formula of b over 2 quantity squared. So, pag nakuha natin yung value neto, i-add natin both sides of the equation. So, let us find the value of this. The value of b is 2. We have now the quantity of 2 over 2 squared then simplify 2 divided by 2 that is 1 1 squared we have 1 so itong 1 na to i-add natin both sides of the equation bakit? para yung left side maging perfect square trinomial we have now x squared plus 2x plus 1 ito, ito yung 1 dito nang dito nang galing itong 1 na to. Then we have 3 plus 1. Tandaan nyo lang na kung ano yung i-add mo sa, uh, sa left side or isusubtract sa left side, ganun din yung gagawin mo sa right side. Then we have x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 4. Next step, express x squared plus 2x plus 1 into square of binomial. Bakit? Kasi perfect square trinomial na to. So, express express x squared plus 2x plus 1 as a square of binomial. So, again, para ma-express natin to into uh, square of binomial, in order to express x squared plus 2x plus 1 into square of binomial, we need to get the square root of the first term. So, square root ng first term, we have square root of first term, we have we have x. Kapag kinuha mo yung square root of x squared, magiging x na lang siya. Then, square root of 1. Correct. This is 1. Then, uh, then, since parehas tong positive, ang magiging uh, operation niya is positive. Then, after nyan, na-express na natin yung perfect square trinomial into square of binomial, we need to eliminate the exponent which is 2. Eliminate natin yan by extracting square root. By extracting square root square root okay so we have square root of the quantity of x plus 1 squared equals plus minus square root of 4 
or positive negative square root of 4. Then, maka-cancel na to, is itong square root and then yung exponent. Ang matitira sa left side, we have x plus 1 equals positive negative. Then, square root of 4, we have 2. Next step, solve the resulting linear equations. Paghiwalay natin, i-break down. We have x plus 1 equals 2. Una, positive. The next one is x plus 1 equals negative 2. Then, solve for the value of x. We have now x plus 1 minus 1 equals 2 minus 1. Bakit minus 1? To eliminate positive 1 to the left side of the equation. So, cancel na to. Or 0 na yan. Matitara sa left side is x. x equals 2 minus 1. We have 1. Then, dito sa kabila, to eliminate positive 1 again, we need to subtract both sides by 1. We have negative 2 minus 1. Then, we have x equals negative 2 minus 1 we have negative 3. Then, for checking, substitute the values of 1 and negative 3 to the given quadratic equation x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 0. So, checking na tayo. Checking. For x equals 1, for x equals negative 3. Let us substitute the given value of x, which is 1. We have 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus 3 equals 0. Then 1 squared, simplify, we have 1. 2 plus 2 times 1, we have 2 minus 3 equals 0. 1 plus 2, 3 minus 3, then we have 0 equals 0. So, ibig sabihin, yung value na x, which is 1, Satisfy to the given quadratic equation. Next, we have negative 3 squared plus 2 times negative 3 minus 3 equals 0. Negative 3 squared, we have 9. Then, 2 times negative 3, we have 6. Minus 3 equals 0. Then, 9 minus 6 minus 3, we have 0 equals 0. Therefore, the value of x, which is negative 3, satisfy to the given quadratic equation. The answers are, or the solutions or roots of these quadratic equations are 1 and negative 3.